Welcome to Thoughts on the Market. I'm Sean Kim, head of Morgan Stanley's Asia Technology Research Team. Along with my colleagues, bringing you a variety of perspectives. Today, I'll discuss why AI matters for investors and our look for the next five to 10 years in the evolution of AI. It's Tuesday, July 11th at 9 a.m. in New York. In the span of just six months, OpenAI has moved from being a niche IT research and development to a key driver of what is said to become a $3 trillion IT spend by 2029. Despite this rapid progress, we're still in the early stages of AI technologies. We believe today's machine learning stage of AI adoption precedes a much larger future market when we reach the AI inference phase, which is where AI would be able to make predictions based on novel data. And that in turn would eventually expand to an even bigger potential market in endpoint or edge AI inference. The AI technology total adjustment market, or the TAM, which includes semiconductors, hardware, and networking, is at $98 billion today, and we estimate will grow to $275 billion by 2027, and that's more than half the size of the semiconductor market today. This remarkable growth is actually led by semiconductors, where we see the AI semiconductor market TAM tripling over the next three years, from $43 billion to $125 billion, and significantly outgrowing the overall AI market. Companies that we consider AI leaders are generally showing high growth and returns. Consensus shows a three-year average EPS growth of 24%, which is more than twice the earnings growth of global stocks on average. Our investment framework addresses three key criteria. One, which parts of the tech supply chain are the biggest beneficiaries of AI in terms of revenue exposure and how that exposure is growing relative to their traditional businesses. Two, the quality of those earnings and whether they are based on volume or pricing. And three, whether stock valuations reflect that upside potential. We believe we are far from bubble metrics, although the market will inevitably compare AI to the dot-com boom. However, today's leading AI companies are well-established with good cash flow characteristics for the most part, unlike many companies that became casualties of the dot-com collapse. As we embark on what we view as a new decade-long paradigm shift, we expect our performance to come in waves and think we're currently very early in the enabling technology stage. And like so many technologies, AI is also a double-edged sword. There are companies that are in the right place at the right time now, but also have what it takes to fully commercialize the AI opportunity over the long term. The flip side is companies that are less relevant to AI products or services, but will infuse optimism in their forward guidance via mentions of AI. While we expect AI will be a growth driver for most, it will not generate revenue growth for everyone. Other potential risks include the fact that the chip cycle is not just depending on AI, but also on the wider global economic cycle. And furthermore, we believe any big visions of AI is transforming the world as we know it must read on a solid foundation of physics, ethics, and the law. A big topic we will continue to follow closely and bring you updates. Thank you for listening. If you enjoy the show, please leave us a review on Apple Podcast and share thoughts on the market with a friend or colleague today. The preceding content is informational only and based on information available when created. It is not an offer or solicitation, nor is it tax or legal advice. It does not consider your financial circumstances and objectives and may not be suitable for you.